So there's some new uh, scoops about Twitter. Are we Twitter users? Raise your hand if you're a Twitter user, everybody. Raise your hand. All right, now leave the fucking room. Get the fuck out of here. I don't want to talk to any goddamn Twitter users, okay? There's some news on Twitter. Elon Musk says only paid subscribers will show up in your Twitter for you feed. <laughs> now, first of all, you shouldn't be using the for you feed. You should be using the latest feed as long as it still exists, right? I know he's going to remove that at some point. The entire purpose of why Twitter was good in the first place. He's going to remove it at some point. He's phasing it out, right? You can't just remove it in one swoop. But, man, oh man. So, I, let, I want to explore a conspiracy that I personally am putting some more uh, stake into. And in that Elon Musk is secretly a superhero. Hear me out. We all know Twitter is bad for your mental health. Think about it, right? Mark Zuckerberg, right? He has Facebook, Meta, whatever. Imagine Mark Zuckerberg falling on the sword and destroying Facebook and his entire wealth. You're not going to imagine that. Everyone and everyone's lives would be better if Facebook stopped existing, if Twitter stopped existing. So think about it. Maybe Elon Musk is secretly a superhero. He's destroying something that's toxic for our culture and for our mental health individually. He's destroying it. So think about it. I mean, whether intentional or not, whether he's doing it on purpose or by accident, he is still destroying a social media website that is a blight on our civilization. So I say this. I'm an Elon Musk fan. I mean, this is good shit. I see this stuff and I'm like, this is good shit. Elon Musk has announced Twitter's latest push to get people to pay $84 a year for the social network. Twitter will promote only paid subscribers' tweets and non-subscribers will not be allowed to vote in polls. Here's the thing though. What happens if I paid for Twitter Blue for one month? And let's say, like, I think of, like, hundreds of tweets, right? Just hundreds and hundreds of them. Like, I'm just like, you know, I use the, the scheduled tweets function. And I just think, like, you know, uh, let's do 30 tweets a day, space them out by X amount of minutes. They're all bangers, right? They're all fucking... And I pay for Twitter Blue for one month. One month. And then, like, I... I unleash the bangers, right? Boom, boom, boom. Every 12 minutes, bam, wow, retweet, like. And then I gain a lot of followers from having paid for Twitter and being in the For You and all that. And then I stop paying for Twitter. This is my idea. I'm just saying, 12 bucks, whatever it is, pay $12, post all your bangers, get a couple thousand followers off of it, and then stop paying. Probably not going to do that, but it's something I thought about. Twitter's For You tab, the first screen that users see when they open the app. I noticed, by the way, that when you do the refresh on the phone app, it automatically just goes to the other tab. So whenever I'm on the real Twitter, right, and I just refresh it, it will just switch to the For You window just automatically. I didn't push that. I, I didn't swipe left. I never, <laughs> but it doesn't anyway. <laughs> That means it can surface tweets from people that you don't follow. The For You tab will soon only recommend people who pay for Twitter, uh, the premium Twitter Blue service. Starting April 15, only verified accounts will be eligible to be in the For You recommendations. He announced in a tweet, this is the only realistic way to address advanced AI bot swarms taking over. That doesn't happen. That's the other thing. Like, this is like, we've reached like Trumpian levels of delusion here. But, and I know Elon doesn't actually believe it in the same way that I... Well, actually, I don't know if Donald Trump, like, believes his fucking lies. Um, but I'm, I, maybe Elon also believes it. I don't know. But this fucking advanced AI bot swarms, like, what? What do you, okay, so if you don't force people to pay for Twitter to get in the For You tab, 
a fu- Skynet is gonna unleash, like, a swarm of, like, fucking nanobot locusts on the front. Like, what? <laughs> AI bot swarms? <laughs> oh, Jesus. But that's the thing, like, Elon Musk says some, like, buzzword, 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 like, advanced buzzword. AI! Whoa! AI! Whoa! Whoa! AI! AI! Ah! Bots! Bot swarms! Like, like, it's all buzzwords. It doesn't mean anything. None of that means anything. But people will lick this shit out of his fucking, like out of his asshole like like the shit will go out of his of his ass and it will be like perfectly immediately enveloped in the tongues of these freaks right like again like he just says things without any logical coherence to them it ai bot swarms like are you gonna tell us what the fuck that is of course not but then everyone's like oh ai bot swarms ai bot swarms (laughs) like (laughs) oh my god this is another good one this is another good one okay It is otherwise a hopeless losing battle. Voting in polls will require verification for the same reason. So you're not allowed to vote in Twitter polls unless you pay Twitter. But why is that? Because Elon posted a poll saying, should I step down as CEO? And it was like, what, 60 something percent said, yes, step the fuck down, bitch. And now six months later, I think that was in October, wasn't it? It was a long time ago now. Six months later, or four, or five, I don't fucking know. He's like, well, now, in order to, to vote in polls, you need to pay me personally. <laughs> like, okay, what if I just want to poll my audience on Twitter? Hey, what should I eat for dinner? Should I fucking make risotto, or should I fucking just make a salad? And then I get two fucking votes, because no one can vote in my poll. Hey, what should I stream today? On Twitch.television, Resident Evil or Doom, and I get one vote because no one fucking subscribes. Like, what the fuck, man? 99% of Twitter polls are just like, hey, what pizza topping should I get? Hey, what fucking restaurant should I go to? Hey, should I get McDonald's or Wendy's? That's 99% of Twitter polls, man. And this guy, because he got so fucking triggered that he lost the fucking stupid poll that he didn't have, it was non-binding. He lost the stupid fucking poll that got so triggered he's gonna destroy the whole fucking website because he got triggered that he lost the poll. (laughs) But again, this is why Elon Musk, regardless of his intentions, actions always mean more than intentions. Um, right? The road to hell, pay with good intentions, blah, blah. But... Regardless of that, low-key, Elon Musk is a superhero because he's destroying Twitter and Twitter's bad for our mental health anyway. So I say that, net positive on Elon Musk's latest Twitter agenda. Um, Good job, Chief. Keep at it.